Today is December the 29th and I finally have gotten time to plant my flower bulbs and I had bought a bunch from a Walmart through the fall and I immediately put them in the refrigerator downstairs and I'm a professional photographer and I'm just now finally getting time to plant them and I am running late so but anyhow um, it's 68 degrees out here right now and rain is expected later today so I'm fixing to get them in the ground I had laid out all my bulbs on the ground and I checked the height of each one it's got the information right here on the back and these two are very short so I'm gonna plant them on the front edge of my bed that's the information for that um, and I, after I get through planting them, I'm going to stick a little plastic stake in the top so that I don't drill down through them whenever I'm planting annuals or perennials a little later on. These have been in the refrigerator. So they should be good to go three in this package. says plant them um, three to five inches deep. Put some bone meal in there. It says about um, one or two, one heaping teaspoon, tablespoon. Side goes down. You can see the roots right there. There are ten little bulbs in here. They're pretty small, but they're starting to sprout. So <clears throat> And they need to be planted at the depth of two to three inches. Go point it up.
have five varieties of daffodils and I've laid them out um, as the height that they'll grow just so that I would know um, they're pretty close to the same range but I'm going to keep them separate so that whenever they multiply in a few years I can dig them up and um, just make a bigger cluster each time and when it blooms it'll look like a bouquet. It's winter right now so wherever the this is what my garden's going to look like probably whenever these bloom so i will be able to tell the spacing um you know for the color placement and everything right now so i'm just going to walk and drop these in the bed There are five bulbs. King Alfred is the name of these. It says to plant three to six inches deep. Second bulb is replete. Five bulbs, planting depth three to six inches. That one's actually about to make another one. These are pretty good size. And these are from Walmart. Oh, there's another one in there. All right. I see some bad weeds right here. What can you get rid of this? Way too much. I'll go ahead and make my hole. I'm just gonna drop it back in here because I'm gonna use all this today in here. Mm -hmm.
The third one I'm planting that's ended up in the middle of the bed is Mount Hood. There's 10 bulbs in this package and the planting depth is three to six inches. And these are huge bulbs. Look really good. The fourth variety that I'm going to plant are uh, Daffodil Ice King, 10 bulbs in here. Planting depth is 3 to 6 inches, and these are big also. That one's fixing to turn into three. That one's two. called double mix 10 bulbs planting depth three to six inches and there's a lot of bulbs in here and they all feel good
I'm really surprised by the size of these bulbs. That one. A lot of them. I have tried alliums in the past and they all died. I've never seen a sign of them. Oh, this is Purple Sensation, five bulbs, planting depth, four to six inches. Um, it looks like pretty good bulbs. So I'm gonna plant them here where I know it's a little higher. I don't know if they're, um, they've been in a refrigerator. So they may do something this year, but Possibly not the next year. Um, this looks like an iris here. So I'm going to get here. This is a Dutch iris. It's a mix, purple, yellow, and white, 10 bulbs. Planting depth is four to six inches. <clears throat> I see a bad weed right here. Just gonna throw it out in the yard. plant them right here in front of this boxwood so I can kind of keep up with where they're at. And now when I'm planting this spring, I'll have to be careful that I don't dig down through my bulbs. If they do really good and get thick, oh, in a few years I'll dig them up and separate them. I'm just going to stick a bunch of this right here so I'll 
know where they're at. This variety is a Dutch iris called Eye of the Tiger, 15 bulbs, planting depth four to six inches. That looks like that might be a perennial there. And this is all gomfrina seeds. I'll have gomfrina all over here. And I think that's actually the purple. So I probably won't even have to use any of my seeds that I harvested. It's a lot of them here. Okay, so I'm going to try to skip this spot here. It's like a mushroom or something coming up there. Good and firm. These are four to six inches. There is a planting space, and, but I'm not paying it any attention this year. Like I said, if they do good, I'll dig them up and transplant them out. Space them wider apart after I see how they do. To help me keep up with what kind of daffodils I've got planted and maybe prevent me from digging into them this spring, I'm going to stick these metal tags. I got them from Amazon. But anyhow, you scratch them with like an ink pen or a nail or something and then that never goes away. And you can also write on them with a, a garden marker to help them show up for, better for a little while. But that will uh, eventually fade. This is King Alfred, so I'm going to put that here and then I'm going to stick that right there and anytime I see that kind of label I'm going to know to be careful and not dig there. I'm going to do it for each one of the things that I planted today. It's 10 different varieties. I've left the papers in there just for a few minutes so that you can see the spacing of the bulbs that I have through the bed. I've kept them kind of to the front because um, they're a little bit shorter. Um, I haven't cleaned this bed up yet either, but I do see a few perennials that have lived through our cold. We had 14 degree weather below freezing for 48 hours recently. So, but anyhow, this is the way the spacing is and I just hope I don't dig down through them when I'm planting flowers this spring. This is so I'll remember what I planted where. This is, the first one is Daffodil King Alfred. The next one is Replete. Here on the front I have a Crocus. And here I have a Daffodil Mount Hood, ended up kinda in the middle of the bed. Here on the front corner, Hyacinth. 
ice king and then the last one on the end is the double mix daffodil and then right in front of that sage I have the alliums then the dutch iris which is the yellow and purple mix and then way down there that is um, eye of the tiger a purple iris so we'll see if they bloom I also want to mention that I had bought these whenever I was out Christmas shopping and I went ahead and stuck them in the refrigerator and they have been in the refrigerator for about two months so they should be primed and ready to go. Thanks so much for watching my videos. If you found it useful and would like to see more of my projects, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell to receive a notification of when I upload a new video. And please like each video as this helps me so much. Thank you again and have a blessed day.